Hi, this is Lynette from Kits and Bits and I'd like to give you a little tour of one of my packages, uh, my PowerPoint template. I design beautiful and functional presentation templates so that you can extend your brand and use them time and time again with a minimum of fuss. I take my existing template that has 50 different layouts in it and then I add your brand elements, your logo, your fonts, your colour scheme and then I make a few tweaks so that it looks different to everyone else. You can see that it's sort of roughly the same but it looks very different once you change the fonts and the colour scheme. So for Luscious Organic I used um, a balsa wood background which matched their logo and I do that on, on all of the different layouts so headers and things like that are all um, matched to the brand. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the 50 layouts. So this is another one of my clients, a Melanie from My Computer Lab. Uh, you can see her logo's got like the little um, heartbeat at the end and I use that as part of uh, the design throughout the presentation as well. So here you can see in the slide sorter the first six slides layouts of uh, Melanie's template. Uh, so we've got three different title cover pages. The two with the dark green at the top are actually for full-size image placeholders so you can actually insert a whole slide image behind that and then the title will go over the top depending on what kind of picture you use as to whether the lighter or darker font would work better. Uh, then we've got a section header so it's got your section header title as well as the items that you're going to go through um, which is pretty standard when you're delivering any kind of presentation or training. Then we've got uh, these types of slides so you can see here I've got BBR that basically means brand bottom right <laughs> um, so you can see that over here uh, and that allows you to put little icons in the top as uh, so if you wanted to designate them by a particular um, you know structure so you know all of these ones could be uh, about people and so you could have a little people icon things like that so you can do those if we go down to the next set so they continue down and you've got a few different options here so there's just a normal your normal bullets with a portrait image there's also the normal bullets but with a centered quote and then we've got some blank ones with just the brand on the bottom right. Then we move into these ones where it's a BTR brand top right, very tricky that way. It looks like the title goes over the top but these would actually um, automatically downsize when you actually start putting content into them. And then we've got lots of different options. So this is where you might, you know, have a quote and then an image. Um, most of these where you see the icons to say uh, landscape or portrait image are not just set up for images. They are also set up for smart art or graphs or things like that. So um, while they they look like images, you can actually use them for other things uh, that are built into PowerPoint all the, already. Uh, so we've got lots of different layouts here. So here we've got you know different ones where you've got the bullets, but you, or you've got a quote. Uh, these ones have actually got a quote with a caption. So if you wanted to designate that in particular, uh, then we've got. Uh, you know comparisons so we've got you know two sections that are bulleted these ones have got comparisons so they've actually got a subheading um, then we've got some shapes uh, that you can use to put uh, content into the majority of my templates have the two shapes in them but if you don't like those you can easily create your own on the on the blank slides and you can copy the formatting from one to the other then we move into the split slides so this is where you can actually rather than having the header up on the top left of the uh, slide you can have it down the side um, and I generally have a dark and a light set so the dark will have the white font and the light will have the dark font. Uh, there's always a Q&A slide in all the packages that I deliver and then I have these full image slides that you can use as well so this is for a banner image so you could have something going across the top and then a quote down the bottom uh, and then uh, on the side just like the other um, split screens uh, and then are they, these ones are for full size images with a transparent block across the top where the text can be seen more easily uh, and then just a full size image if you're planning a webinar or a presentation then my template will make you look professional while still being easy to use and most importantly you stay in complete control of the content and can update it whenever you like with or without a network connection.